In this demo, we're going to create visualizations like the ones you see here using a data set that has one billion records. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is create a geographical hierarchy. We select city, create a geographical hierarchy, and select the geographical level city. A pop-up appears because some of the cities cannot be uniquely identified. I choose the correct cities and then select OK. Now we've created a geographical hierarchy that we can use in SAP Visual Intelligence. It also appears now on the semantic pane. I'm going to filter the quarters just to look back for one rolling year. I select the data view. At the top of the column, year quarter, I select the funnel. I then select the previous four quarters. Now let's create visualizations. I select Visualize to switch to the graphic design full screen. I also select the small arrow in the visualization pane at the left to open up the picker. This way I can use drag and drop to create visualizations. I want to analyze my sales revenue and quantity sold by quarter. I decide to create a stack column chart. I drag sales revenue on the y-axis, quantity sold on the y2 axis, and I drag lines to the x-axis. I can now see sales revenue and quantity sold for all of my product lines. I now want to see the development over the time period that I selected, so I drag year and quarter into the trellis. I put it on columns by, and this way I see a column for each of the quarters with the relevant sales revenue and quantity sold data again for each of the product lines. Let me save this visualization for future reference. You can now see at the bottom of the screen a new pane. This is where we see all the saved visualizations within this document. And now we're going to analyze the same data with different kinds of charts. We switch to a line chart. I'm going to save this visualization for future reference. We can also select an area chart icon. In an area chart, I can also select to have 100% stacking. Now let's see how this looks in a pie chart. I drag and drop the measure discount to the pie depth selector. I now have a visualization that I, where I see sales revenue and quantity sold per quarter with the pie depth representing the discount. Let's click the Save button. Very easily I can change the graph layout. So for example, Let's now use the geographic hierarchy we created in order to create a geographical pie chart. I drag geography to the dimension field. Let's click the Save button. I can zoom in and out using the plus and minus button in the upper left of the screen, or I can use the scroll wheel on my mouse. If, for example, I want to restrict the number of cities that are shown, I can also apply a filter on this, onto the geographical hierarchy, city. So for example, assume I just want to look at the city of Washington, Washington DC in the United States. I can select the city and then select filter. I can now decide, for example, to go into a different visualization if I wanted to look at the data for Washington. Now we're going to go out and try a different visualization. Let's look at sales revenue for each city for the quarters that we just selected in a heat map. The areas with the dark blue have the highest sales. For OLAP users, there's actually another interesting visualization we can use. We can select the table icon and then select the following objects. 
sales revenue, city, and year quarter. I now have a typical OLAP view. In this view, I can also do calculations. So looking at sales revenue, I right click and then select percentage. Sales revenue is now computed in percentage. Now suppose, for example, I want to select the top five cities where sales revenue is high. Right click on the measure sales revenue and select ranked values and select the top five. Here I can see a list of the five cities with the highest revenue. London, Mumbai, Paris, Delhi, and New York. So I now have the top five cities. If I want to look at the lowest five cities, I can repeat the same steps and just select bottom five. I can now create a tag cloud where I see the bottom sales revenue in a tag cloud representation. I'm going to save this visualization for future reference. When we save an SAP Visual Intelligence document, it can hold multiple visualizations at the same time. Now I want to save this document. Select File, Save, enter in a file name, and a description. That's all. Now I can send this file to colleagues and co-workers and they can see all the visualizations that I have created using SAP Visual Intelligence. When I save the document, I can share the entire document, including all of the visualizations that belong to that document. This way, I have an easy way to document and share the knowledge that I've gained using SAP Visual Intelligence.